Glitz Sessions has light tutorials and a happy Tuesday. I am so excited to be back with you. And today we are going to do is really fun is Tuesday acrylic tutorial. So welcome Instagrams, Facebook, Twitch, TikToks, and YouTubes for tuning in. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in. So in front of me, there are three colors we're going to, bring to uh, play today is the uh, light nude and beige and also teal. So a light nude and teal is as a new selecting um, spring colors and liquid and powders in this season. And then I am also use beige. And of course, there are the 26 is crystal clear, the big jars. I'm going to have it right here. So a lot of them are right on my right side because... Then that way I can able to get the products when I'm doing the uh, tutorials. And this tutorial today is I'm going to go ahead and using the uh, brush number 12. You can use the brush number 10, 12, or 14. It just really depends on your reference. And also is the bigger numbers, which is mean that is bigger as more hair in the bristle. So it's able to holding more monomers, which is able to pick a bigger beats for you. So I'm only using a number 12. You can use a number 10 or 12 or 14. It really depends. I see a lot of nail techs is doing a smaller brush and it's holding a bigger bead. So it just really depends on your personal reference, okay? And I want it using the dramatic glitter, which is I got from the Fox this month, like a little cute um, polka dot. And then this is two two foil. I am going to use it today again. That I received that in my March, uh, my April. I'm sorry, April sub box as well. So we did like with the gel polish, and today I'm gonna use it with the um with liquid and powder. So we're gonna do is ombre and encapsulate glitter with this two uh with this couple colors, and then also with the um chamfer foil. So I have two swatches ready. And then we are, and I did the beige gels here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use premium Iho Chan for Foy. We are going to apply it on both, on both nails. And we're going to do just half, like 50% of it. To make sure it's going to be completely cover is only chamfer where the foil gel is going to apply okay here for 30 seconds and we're gonna apply the same the same one the same premium i hold chamfer foil on this one we're gonna do like half of the nails or about 60 percent of the nails make sure you are going to apply it and tie the nails because it's only chamfer where the foil gels apply all right and then keep in mind you can do with any foil you can watch a lot of different videos i cover like a lot of different designs a lot different designs that I did it before. That's one it's also is the um, chamfer foil. So I'm gonna go ahead and chamfer where I'm at. I'm right here, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And you can put it, you can do it any angle, like an upside down, the other one. This one is also is to have Easter, but you can do however you want and also any any four you can play with you can able to create with give it a good rub to make sure that is no air bubble i see that the air bubble right here sometimes the air bubble is not going to chamfer because it doesn't the foil gel it doesn't grab into the foil image so make sure you lay it back up and make sure the you Give it a more pressure so then the air bubbles can able to blend it in. 
like this one right here, air bubble. And cool, that's it. So now important for all beginner nail takes or for nail take, chanfer, like look at that, chanfer, like pretty much 99% of everything. So if you love the foil image and there's a lot of different designs you can do it on the top of the nails or if you are doing encapsulate with the liquid can powder velvety gels or other nail art if you love the image and it's always giving you a troubleshoot this is going to be a definitely will be your bestie and trust me it will never betray you and it'll sketch you pretty much every single time and this is i'm gonna put it on the side so now really important if you are going to apply the monomers and the polymer which is the beads of acrylics right here is going to dissolving all of your foil like this design so then what we need to do is really important just apply the no wipe top coat you can do no wipe shiny top coat or you can do no wipe matte top coat okay as long as you get something to cover i mean to protect this part of the foil so i'm go ahead and apply the no wipe top right here and let this baby cure for 30 seconds so then that way is will really completely protect by a top coat so then your monomers will not dissolving the uh foil pot so you can do this is vertical or horizontal however you want to be in your ombre i'm not sure this one i did it like like it doesn't matter whatever you want to do maybe i should do this one how about that it doesn't matter i just want to get part of it so this one is already have the uh, foil gels on premium io foil gel so what i'm going to need to do is place it right on the top the high part which is the spine of the nails and then give it a good pressures toward to the side wall you see that and like you can see like a couple of the air bubbles right here so we're gonna work slowly and make sure that it going to stick it on the side wall sometime i get the air bubble so we'll make sure those will be like gone all right now we're gonna release this see how nice it nice and easy it is this is also a great way to do with your ombre for the gel polish as well for a lot of you love the ombre and I'm gonna show you probably in cover in another video so we can I can show you how you can able to achieve this like have ombre by adding one of the family products. I mean family color, which is the similar color like this, and you can able to chamfer it to make bam like instant ombre for you without have to work so much. Special is really good for the short nail as well. So again. We are going to protect it with no wipe top coat or else if you're excited and you're getting your um beats right it's gonna dissolve then a lot of nail tech like oh it's never happened to me like hey if it worked for you great i think it's gonna be good but if you know for all the beginner nail tech to avoiding a lot of headaches a lot of troubleshoot later and you know that you can control it just i would apply the top coat on and it take only 30 seconds to do and cure it and then taking away from a lot of troubles you know in here in in this the when you're doing it for the clients it's not about who's doing it faster who doing better is is to me it is a result and the result and then it had to be the most comfortable with you and you love what you're doing instead of try to compete you know like if you know that what works for you do what work the best for you it doesn't have to be on social media it doesn't have to be instagram facebook youtube because you know that how we're doing it beside live tutorial we're doing a lot of short video quick fast easy so then when you have five minutes break you can watch a thousand a different video without having to spend a thousand hours but then you know that it take works to get in there so that's why just watching inspiration 
but find what the best for you is by because by the end of the day it's for you it's not for no one else to be impressed with no one because you know that how we create a lot of content it takes us eight hours to to editing a lot of really proper videos on youtube and for instagram with the reels or shorts so then it looks really entertaining but it's not applied to the realistic life you know so the short so then that's where you know so if it works great for me because when i do the clients i would do it like this and it works the best for me and protect it so i don't have to worry about oh my gosh i messed up this you know and then when you start doing many stroke here and you didn't realize that you wipe and you are dissolve all of the four and you're being seen that oh my gosh you know you have to do it over again so do what worked the best for you and what most effective for you okay so now we are go ahead and submerging the bris the uh, brush using your bristles i'm using a brush number 12 and pick the small to medium beads and i'm gonna divide into two beads first beat i'm gonna do right closer where the the four is going to be and place it right here for hopefully for like about a few seconds and it's also it's really depend on the weather some of the state the weather is kind of really um nice and like have kind of cold so you might want to hold a little bit longer florida is weather is a little bit warmer and someday it's cold so it's really depend and gently using and tie the body of your bristle and blend it down okay and this is what help you a first layer of your ombre first. And then you go in and then get another bead. And this bead will help you perfect your cuticle area. This is really a good tip for a lot of beginner nail techs. Um, and then when you're getting really good at comfortable with your ombres, you can do one bead, two beads, or even like doesn't matter how many beads it work for you, then do it. But when you first start and don't overwhelm yourself by looking because you know how we're doing it and we're editing it the videos like a whole entire freaking behind the scene it doesn't work well we cut it off so we're not going to show you there's all the flaws that we're working on and then you make it look so beautiful and like oh my god i didn't it didn't turn out the way i want it and it just like epic felt no everybody all of us will make a mistake too so just find what is work for you and you are gonna go from there. All right, blend, 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 blend. Okay. I'm gonna using the belly. and blend it hey, i don't know how many of you hear this can hear this or watching a live videos now hey thanks so much for tuning in and i'm so glad you joined. and sometime on the short videos I didn't include it and talk a lot of tip and trick because you know we're all now everything is go 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 quick fast and easy then a lot of my live videos i cover really details a lot of different tip and trick as well so now don't worry about it's anything perfect if you want to add any you can add this one on maybe i should do this one a little bit different and this is a great time to add it on if you want butterflies add some more you are you are definitely can do it more and i'm going to add some of the um polka dots glitter i have add some more you can add some more so i'm going to show you a tip and trick it doesn't have the powder there because i want to see on the last part i'm going to add just a little bit of crystal clear so now you can add some more you can add however you can add more metal beads let me see if i have some flowers here i have a bigger flowers um, i don't, don't want to spend more time to doing your bigger flowers you can do another bigger flower here if you want to you know if you want to but if you don't want to 
take it off this is like limitless of what you can create okay i'm gonna continue doing it more with polka dot you can add some more less it's up to you i'm gonna add a couple more here yeah, so Gabby, it is transfer foil on the nails at the bottom part. So we have transfer foil at the bottom, and then we have acrylic ombre over it. Yeah, you can do however you want. I couldn't find any flowers on this. Oh, maybe something on this one yet. You can add some, but I'm not worried about it. You can add so much, so many more as you prefer. Smaller. I'll be surprised because I usually I will get the flower here, but I didn't get the flower here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. my tray of flowers somewhere. It will be closer to me, but not at my um bridge over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap this. Oh, should I add this this uh, little bunny here? Maybe. Okay. You can do however you want. Like you can do this cute bunny or frogs right there, you know, cute bunny. Hey, so cute. You can do cute bunny. You can leave it alone. And remember, guys. So this is only a sample design. We can only we show you what is possible, and you can use whatever product you like. And you don't have to put everything on it. No, you don't. Do however you like your clients like. Okay, we we'll put it right here. Just that's it. You can add more or less. It's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the smaller beads or medium beads. When you cap the nails, it doesn't matter. You can cap the nails with the big beads or smaller beads. However it works, I hold for a second and let it set, settle wipe off your bristle free of the products and then using a belly of your bristle and walk toward to the free edges i'm gonna cap it to the important part right here where is is going to i mean where the the ombre part and where the encapsulate because you don't want to buff and fight off all that uh polka dot glitter and then add another bead of the crystal clear as you prefer. I mean, to cap more. So for all beginner nail tech, take your time and work with the products because remember like this, do not let it control you. You are the one that controlling it. If you tell it to go left, like said, okay, so I'm going to tuck you in here. It's going to tuck it in there. So don't let it chase you. You are the one is controlling it. So then when you're doing it and don't feel really frustrated when you work with the product and then make sure your bristle, the top, I mean your bristle and the belly of a brush is stay on the top of the products. So don't let it sink into the product. So then it's going to make you really frustrated because now it's not getting a lot of residues in your brush and it's gonna mess it up your brush while you are doing the application it's gonna make it frustrated so make sure take your time um be honest it like look like acrylics when you're doing it it rush you but actually it just does not because it's tap time to set so take your time and sculpting it like properly so then that way it save your time when later when you are filing and shaping okay if you need to go back and add more feel free to do so i'm so proud of all of you you know for how far you have come and even like stopping by to watching some tutorial so then i know that you want to bring it the best of the best to your business that's what we are here for you i got to 
do some of the cute design and expand it out with you in some live video it being so amazed because i learned so much not only sharing with you but i'm learning it myself as well it looks really good copying good 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 and then let it air dry stop right there and let it air dry great next one we're being ready Oh, so a lot of cool and explain, but I love it because then that's where I can explain it everything for you. So this nails, I did use the beige, which is I like a lot how it turned out and like a little bit of nude, like kind of a nude neutral colors and then it's fading to pink look. So should I try this one, the light nude on this one? So then you can see the two different things. Go for it. Let's see. Well, you know that you can always like playing and testing out different of the uh, light colors. For me, I prefer when I'm doing an ombre, light nude, base, base nude, light nude number 19, base nude number 22, beige number 52, rose nude number 42, and a lot of other light colors you can definitely do the ombre with. All right, submerging my bristle. So now for a lot of you just tuning in, I did using premium Iho Chan for four. Let's recap it quick because we finished this one, the first one. And then keep for 30 seconds, apply the foil. And then after that, I apply the you no know, wipe top coat here for 30 seconds to protect the foil image here. Then you can using the monomers, um, polymer monomers, pick up your beads. And you can start ombre. So I'm going to do light nude on this one and see what's up with this one. Because it looks even really cute already, ombre. Let's pick up about like small to medium beads. Place. Okay. Using the belly of the bristle. And you are going to start blending it. Let's see how it turn out. Stay, keep your bristle on the top of your brush. Okay, first beat, I always doing it right above of where I did the ombre to keep it really nice. I can able to control my part of the ombre nice first. And then a second beat, I'm going to get it closer to the cuticle so then it can help me perfect the cuticles area without have to worry about the ombre part so i'm gonna go ahead and pick the second beads and place closer to the cuticles using the tip of my bristle and tuck it in so when i'm working with the nails even the client's nails i always try to get it like till the nails down and let the gravity do majority of work for me only i need to do is using the belly of the bristle and guide the beads why it is salt level itself and i'm using the bristle to basically like uh the the one to just like guiding it All right, using the belly and guide it. And I just need a little bit. Let me see it's under. Oh, it looks good though in the camera. If you have question, I miss it because I've been looking it down on the nails since I start the tutorial. So hey, if you are tuning in, welcome, welcome to Glitz Assistant and such. I hope you can bring one or two tip and trick out from the tutorial. Some part you like, some part you don't like. Pick the part that it works the best and bring you the most inspiration and helpful for you. And then leave the one that doesn't work, you know, there. So, all right. So now you're happy with this. You can add some. That just looks really cool, though. Add some, I'm going to add this one on. How about that? Because this one looks, look, even it by itself looks super cute. 
is ombre nicely. And then add in some You kind of tell like, oh my gosh, what is she doing with all the polka dots? I that's what I have in my box. I'm gonna make the best out of the box, you know. Just so you might have a different colors. Like I know that I see some colors on the dip cushion. Some colors is beautiful, and I want it. But I got this one; it's so beautiful as well. So we all get some cute. I keep adding. Add more or don't add anything. It's up to you. I'm going to show you some of the possibility you can do. And I'm using my box glitter. All right. Happy with this? Stop right there. I can add more. You can add more beads or metals. Maybe it should be beads. Looks good, huh? Oh, my God. Look. I can do this one. Mm -hmm. You can do this one on and you can do another flower see but i'm gonna leave it right there oh i'm looking for finding some beads and i found that flowers all right okay i'm just playing too much okay done and I'm going to go ahead and submerging my bristles back into the monomer. Pick up the uh, smaller to medium beads. Crystal clear. And I'm going to place it. You can place it up here. You can place it right here. And then I'm going to do first beads here. You can do first beads here to cap right there. And then do second bead to cap the rest of the part of the nails. Using the belly of the bristle. Top. Always special for beginner nail tech or for nail tech been doing nails for a long time. And you can able to work with the same technique that I share and see if it works for you or it help better. Because when I start doing the new techniques of application for the liquid and powder, I have to really like retrain my brain and my habit to being a new way of sculpting and applying the liquid and powder and shipping. That's why it helps so much with my techniques. So I am sharing it to you so then you can work smarter, not harder. Buying, doing this similar techniques like this, it saved me so much time from doing liquid and powder and also create a lot of different cool trend a set of nails uh, without um, being really frustrated. All right, so I just hope that helps. Second beads. And a lot of beginner nail tech, you can get closer to the cuticle if you want to. So then a lot of, I'm feeling good when I put in closer to the cuticle because in that way I can prevent from getting closer or falling closer to the Kiko. Do however it work for you and use what, you know, you're learning. If you feel like it's good, pick up that Zoe Tipman trick and apply it on. But you don't have to do 100% like what I'm showing. Do however it work for you. So always getting the bristle are working and stay on the top of the product. Just only train your brain like that on the top because I know when I'm breaking, um, breaking through the old 
patterns and old techniques I did. And when I change it, I won't have to remind myself like bristles stay on the top of the products. All right, good. This is buying just a blanket like this. It helps you save so much time by scripting and doing any shape. So when you later, even you shaping is so much easier. So I'm going to clean my bristle. And we are going to give it a quick buff and shape. Clean and keep the bristle stay nice. And pull back it's all glitz acrylic brush not clamps at all so we are want to for you to know that is you don't need even to clamps it flat you can work with completely the traditional origins this is going to be your bestie for blending your your beads of acrylics and control so much better and also holding your monomers really nice and is keep your beads stay consistency all right, move this one on the side for a second. So the colors that I did use earlier, which is the teal from the Spring Acrylics Selects Collections. And then the beige is also my favorite. So I love it. It's really soft. If you want to do like have a soft, like soft, light, nude, that one will be a good one. This one's like soft lights, like light pink is light nude. It's a good one. Crystal clear, if you're doing a crystal clear, if you're doing a clear see-through set and you want to add some other clips on, this is going to be the best. It's see-through crystal clear. It doesn't give you a cloudy or yellowish after you finish. All right. Oh, I shouldn't get it stick over here. Well, this is going to have a bump in the back. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> cool. This one for a second, just a second. Look at how beautiful it is! It's like chamfer 99%. I call this is like 1%. Mm -hmm. So, Nikki, we still have a salon pencil color if you want to book service with them. Feel free to go to glissnailbarandspa.com and you can book service well there. Ah, hello, Cindy. Thank you so much. Okay. Let it set and try. Is it dry now? So I'm not able to shape it. 180. And all you need to do keep your file straight to the nails. Like not this, not this, not this angle, not this angle. Keep it straight. So then you are only remove what is necessary to be reshaped. You remove and you keep the shape nice and precise without remove of the powders, which is not supposed to. 90 degree. I'm not using it. Hold your, just find the way it works for you. A lot of everybody holding it different like the same how we're holding our pants writing like i put my pants right in the middle right here you know in this you my ring finger to support and then some i see a lot of my friends was just writing like this and then have the middle finger support do however work for you if you as long as you get your file is stay nice and stationary so it's not flimsy you know when you're doing this you want to make sure that it has the pressure on it so it's not gonna just your files not gonna flying off when you're doing it and because if you the more the stationary you got the tight and you're holding it when you find the clients now they feel it as well and it gives your shape and your filings really precise without 
like oh my god why it looks so bulky and i did i shape a lot i find a lot and it doesn't look like it's it's really nice and precise it looks so wider on the side then if you feel like that just go back to the technique that i do liquid and powder you can check out on the videos um youtube we have it too uh instagram we have and facebook we have it and refer to that so then i will show you how you apply your liquid and powder bead and how i show you the tip and trick to guide it to avoiding a lot of bulkiness like a lot of you shaping and like why it's still wide you know why it's still really bulky and wider on the on the both side of the nails check out the video that i show really detailed step by step and how you can able to um eliminating that and then you can do it better and better on the next set but hey if you feel like i'm good i think i'm good then you're good you know however you want if you want to learn more if you want to be better then be better if you think is you're good then you know it's just, just like be comfortable with this there's no right way and wrong way you know okay I have a friend like doing it for like years, 20, 30 years. And a lot of friends that back years ago want to do, and they still love it and they're still happy. They still have a clients come. It's great, you know. But if you want to looking for something changed and you always want to be just better for yourself, not for no one else but you, then you're doing it. All right. So, Buff. Just be you and be comfortable and do what you love. And you don't have to be frustrated to do something that you don't like, you know? All right, bop, bop, bop. Bop it from the center. So, okay, so go back into a lot of different shaping and filing. I'm just showing really quick. So when I do the nails, you will visualize of like divide your nails in the half just in your mind it's not like you'll ch chop it off um just visualize it in half and here's the top of the nails you're gonna buff it all the way toward to the free edges to keep it really nice precise but it's still buffing without like buff like this right it's gonna flat all of the nails out if you be pay attention when you start buffing and you are talking to your clients you forget that you flatten your nails without notice until you're like oh so just um be aware of that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and um dust all the dust off and then we're gonna top coat and then we're good to go so now if you want anything else on you think if you want a crystal on i'm gonna show you add some crystal on you know they have a couple left here but you don't want just leave it alone and top coat and you're good to go what do you do i draw maybe something with the frog want to keep the frogs here okay now is a top coat top coat you can do top shiny you can top it um shiny or you can top it matte finish however you want however your clients want oh i like this See, I love it that how I go live with you, I got to share with you, even though I didn't get to catch your comments quick, fast enough. But you know, you can always DM us. We're trying to get, like, give you a best answer of our knowledge and our, like, information for you if possible. So, you can, should I map this one or should I, maybe a shiny though, I like shiny. But if you're doing a top coat, matte is good for um, for the picture. Bless you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shiny, shiny or matte, shiny. Looks good though. Maybe one matte, one shiny. I can do matte. Unless anyone vote. This one is cute. This one at least had happy and an Easter somewhere else. <laughs> Bless you. So matte. All right, but if before it's going matte, you can see the look of it, how shiny it is. I mean, the looks of the shiny. I could wear this now. I could wear this lane. A lot of people were asking me if how do I function. Oh, I do a lot. I work. I do dishes. Work in the warehouse. 
doing all tutorial for you. Take care of three kids, you know, doing a normal chore at home. But I still able to wear the nails if you want to wear and then you can able to do and walk and everything adjusting it. Okay. So you can have a quick look at how it looks when it's shiny top coat. Once it's cured, it will be matte. So when I doing liquid can powder or velvety gels or gel polish, I always give it a quick swipe underneath to just give get rid of any excess gels that is not necessary here for 60 seconds so for this nails i would definitely suggest it at least is ten dollars per nails because you are doing you got us really cool of the techniques here because you're doing encapsulates and the ombre and then encapsulate again so a ten dollars is really fair for you and also the clients in the clients oh nancy's like i thought but while when you are doing this is the bundle when you're doing two techniques together but if you are doing it one nails on the ombre then it probably is eight dollars for the ombre or encapsulate that is the fair for you because you do liquid can powder so that is a look same thing this one will be ten dollars too do you have it ten dollars right there too at least i would say it's really at least however again when you're doing two more than two techniques start from two techniques is, is ten dollars is really a fair for you i say for you first of all because it take you extra time when I doing it, the tutorials, I talk and explain really detail. But when you're doing the clients, it still take you time to do it, you know, for the techniques, especially you're doing it ombre first and encapsulate. So at least it's ten dollars, if it not more. Some salon will do fifteen dollars, some salon do twelve dollars, some salon do twenty-five dollars for two now, which is give the clients is five dollars. Uh, off when you are doing it bundle and two nails um this is but also this is just for your reference only and also based on your technique your skill your products your special promotion you're running uh on your business during a special certain special time so just some idea for you and um ten dollars is really fair for you and your clients because if you chalk to less than that it might be under chalk for yourself and then you'll start feeling really not fair for you you work so hard and you're never gonna make it and you're gonna start hating what you're doing because you're exhausted you're tired you don't make any money because you would put 10 minutes of actual design and you charge only five dollars so you really under charge yourself and that's why it's gonna take more time for you but then you're making less and it's gonna course you know leading it to burn out really easy so make sure you're pricing it accordingly here i'm gonna tell you some tip and trick and trust me it's nine out of ten the clients will understand and appreciate you more and then once you have educated your clients once you don't have to do it twice so when you're doing it you'll tell the clients you're gonna do one of this swatch like i did with a lot of different video do one swatch with just only chanfer foy and one swatch with only encapsulate so so that means that you have you break out this two techniques separate and then each of them will be cost eight dollars right or seven dollars or six dollars however you want because i'm pricing a little bit of different on acrylic is take a little bit extra time for you when you're doing it fun as nail art and stuff or depend um and then you do another one with two techniques combined together and you put ten dollars and the other one is seven or eight dollars it's up to you as i said it just really depends on how you are running your business and you put together so you have three different nail swatch to be compared to so like your clients like oh this one eight dollars and this one at ten and said oh she's got two two of the techniques in one nails for the price of ten instead of one technique for eight so when you show the clients a visual like that the clients will understand really immediately they, because sometimes they it's not like they looking for the cheap 
nails or they want everything in cheap. No, because they didn't realize it. They didn't understand it. So now when you educated the clients, you guide the clients, you consult with the clients, you communicate the clients, the clients will understand right away. They would totally, they're smart and they're talented. So they know it. Like the same thing when you order the pizza, this one topping is not equal price as the second or third toppings. Um, unless, you know, the company pizza company running special promotion buy two get one whatever it is is another story same thing with nails and the services you want to make sure you're doing accordingly so now the client oh nancy i just want this encapsulate glitter but i don't want ombre absolutely great so then guess what it take you away from 10 minutes of spending more time on it now you don't have to spend 10 minutes you can use 10 minutes for taking a break or 10 minutes to accumulate you know, 10 minutes, like three or four, 10 minutes, you have half an hour break. So you don't have to waste more time with making no money. So the clients will understand it. Your price, you know, doing it separate, these two techniques and put these two techniques together, combine. So they will see like, oh, actually it's better to get, you know, $10. You see what I mean? So I hope it helped. The each time I will try to break it down to the prices so then that way you can able to communicate with the clients. If you want to add anything on the menu, I highly recommend you get some swatch, whatever you want to offer, because the clients will not, you know, believe what you're saying because they can't imagine it. But they will believe and see what you're doing. Like if you have some swatching on it to show them and it's great or if you are doing your clients make sure you're taking a picture of it for your reference so you can post it for your picture for your business and also the clients just want i wanted the same set like this so you already have an xp and you can able to price it you know accordingly for the next clients all right so i'm so excited and i'm even excited more when a new sub box is here now and don't miss it because when the box is and i mean the cycle box and it's gonna be going to the next box so you're not seeing the box the current this box again until i don't know maybe forever because each month we have a fresh content fresh elements for you so all of that will help you for you know enjoying what you're doing and help you work smarter not harder so if you love the box don't heritage. You can get it for your boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, sibling, mothers, daughters, whoever loves nails in and out business. So then they can able to add it on their inventory without breaking your bank. And they still appreciate you a lot. We do that because that it is special from Glitz to every single one of you. If you want to have a little taste of everything Glitz offer, this sub box is going to be of everything you need and without breaking your bank and and we have a few more days left to enjoy the anniversary special sale is a huge sales and a good gift a free crystal trifecta with 199 dollars a purchase if you are um have any questions for you know still concern questions for the products or for special sales don't have say cdm will be so happy to assist you and don't miss out the special because when the sales is gone is gone and it's special and also um if you have any questions regarding to the order or the shipping feel free to email us at info at glissassessorinsash.com our team will be so happy to assist you any question any any question and fifth anniversaries is supreme treasure box is about to end really soon you have a huge value of, of over 1700 for such a really a smaller amount without breaking your bank but you have pretty much is everything to start if you are as like is potential nail tech or nail techs or any nail tech that would like to take your business to the next level take your skills to the next level this is a great time for you to own those uh, supreme box it has pretty much everything you could thinking of so don't miss out when it, the anniversary month is done we're moving on to april there are the special fifth anniversary supreme box is no longer available so take advantage from this and don't miss out it has like liquid and powder fusioning gel extension velvety gel oh my gosh crystal kits and completely the two kits and what else I was thinking of in my mind like a lot like acrylics brush acrylics dip and dish and like oh my god so and tips and everything 
I was thinking of another special exclusive the necklace for the anniversary box so don't miss out i can go on and on but i really appreciate every single one of you to tuning in i love you all and hope you are having a fabulous tuesday and i will definitely gonna see everyone in the next live tomorrow live is gonna be a full details i'm so excited I don't know, this is cool though. We have it's all different cool day with different tutorials. So again, you can add this one, a crystal one, if you want to. If you don't want, leave it alone and you're good to go. You can add like crystals on like this. I say like this tray that I almost finished. I could add it on, but this is so cute though. I'm gonna leave it at this. Cool. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. I will definitely looking forward to see all of you in the next live here let me put one of this color teal just for any of you are curious i love this light nude too and i will go wrong with this one for the ombre all right here in the meantime please take good care of yourself and be safe okay we'll see you in the next live